The artists and craftsmen behind the displays work year-round creating and building new sculptures, all with the goal of making the event look different each year. News 13's Dean Staley shows you the dozens of new creations this year. We had a letter written to us from a little, I think she was a seven-year-old little girl, and she said we were missing otters out here. That's how this new family of otters came to be. So our River of Lights crew, they finished packing up the lights in the middle of February and immediately started building new shapes for this season. New Mexico Biopark Society worker Joey Trujillo has spent decades coming up with these dazzling displays, including this one. Like it's kind of hanging on a wall, sticking out is what we're going for. This new 17-foot River of Light sign will now greet you at the entrance. It's sure to be the backdrop of many photos this year. We've got Bigfoot, a gnome, uh, a grove of mushrooms, and all kinds of fun shapes are added to the event this year. There are more than 30 new creations. It took a lot of rope lights. And we go through 150 foot spools, and we went through a few hundred spools of light this year with a crew of 12 starting set up months ago. We started the middle of September. The excitement and the magic that you see in the kids' eyes is really something that's moving. And that's why Joey and his team work throughout the year. They're always trying to make sure that it's the best, most awesome shape or uh, new addition to the event that is just really going to entice those kids to want to come back every year. Trujillo says he loves his job because it's Christmas year round. We walk through here and every time I hear somebody ooh and wow and we know we tap ourselves on the back and stuff just, just for that because it brings everybody to smiles and everything. Everybody loves it. Dean Staley, KRQE News 13.